A world-renowned voyaging canoe is about to make a stop here in Southern California. The Hokulea has been sailing from Alaska down the Pacific coast since June. And joining us now to tell us all about the journey is Captain Mark Ellis. He's joining us from the boat this morning. I understand you're in our area, which hasn't happened, I believe, since the 90s. Welcome and tell us exactly where you are right now. Aloha. We're currently at in the Ventura Harbor um, at the Ventura Yacht Club. Awesome. Well, we're so glad to have you in the area. So help us understand the Hokulea is a replica of an ancient Polynesian canoe, but it's more than that. Tell us the significance and what it means to Hawaiian culture and identity. Yeah, so it's a replica of the Polynesian voyaging canoes. Um, it's the first of its kind in about 600 years. Um, the canoe has launched the revitalization of Hawaiian voyaging traditions. And so first time in 600 years that we've used the traditional wayfinding arts of our ancestors. And it also brings a great joy and hope and enlightenment to our Pacific Islanders. That's really amazing and so cool you're sharing it with us. Tell us about some of the challenges of a journey like this, because we should say it's four years. This is a long trip and you don't have technology like GPS or clocks. How does this all work? Yeah, so it's four years long. Um, some of the challenges has been that it's been cold for us. Um, we're from Hawaii, so warm climates. We started, as was mentioned, in Alaska. We're working away all around the Pacific. Um, cold weather was a big challenge. The other challenge is that we have no GPS, sextant, compass that we use when we do our traditional voyaging and navigation. And so we're using what's around us with nature. And so whatever nature gives us, that's what we can use. So like today, it's a little foggy, so we might stay in port and be safe. Um, if the sun is out, we could use that for sunrise and sunset. And then at night, we can use the stars to tell us our directions. Wow, that is very impressive with no navigation besides the sun and the stars. All right, so we're excited that you guys will be stopping in Marina Del Rey next week. Tell us about the opportunities for all of us to learn more about this canoe. Yeah, so we are coming in on Wednesday, so we invite everyone to come down and welcome us there. We'll have um, a traditional welcome with the indigenous people of that area. And then we'll also have Pacific Islanders that will be welcoming us to that area. Um, then throughout the week, we have different canoe tours, uh, opportunities that people can come down and they can jump aboard the canoe. Um, we won't be taking them out sailing, but we'll be able to show them around the canoe where we sleep, eat, and then how we navigate on the canoe. We also have a navigation talk story um, with one of our master navigators set up as well and a whole community day um, next week on the weekend. Wow, I'm sure we can all learn something from this and we'll be able to share in this amazing experience. Captain Mark, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm just so impressed that you guys are doing a four year trip with no navigation. I can't go four minutes, so Mark, we are impressed. <laughs> we'll catch up with you next week when you arrive in Marina Del Rey. Have a safe journey. Thank you. Thanks.